a bunch of celebrities are once again living in the Australian outback, so I think it's about time I got involved with my opinion. Welcome to this year's I'm Not a Celebrity. Hello and welcome back to my utterly pointless discussion show that at least three people watch sometimes. Um, you may be wondering why I wasn't here last week for the start of I'm a Celebrity. I was away in Panto land. It was all consuming and although I did watch a couple of episodes, I did not have the brain cell to actually record a video. But I'm here now, so hi! As you may have noticed, um, I'm sitting here in what can only be described as a tangle of tinsel because uh, like all of my projects, I decided that tonight I was going to get the box of Christmas decorations out and spread it out on the living room floor, uh, at which point I inst in instantly, I can talk, instantly lost interest in the whole thing and now my living room is covered in tinsel. Yay! So there are 12 celebrities in the jungle this time and, you know, as per usual, I didn't really know most of them. Um, tonight, I'm not even going to talk about tonight's episode yet, let's talk about who's in there and who has made a mark so far. Dean, shrieky princess, he's got to be the first to go, right? I'm just, I'm just so over him. He does look like a very young Lee Evans. Just me? I think he does. Um, GK Barry, I, I don't know her or what she does. Um, she annoys me. She's got a really annoying voice that's really the opposite of enthusiastic. One thing about me this year, I don't have as many words in my head as I used to. So whatever the opposite of enthusiastic is, that's what she is. But Talisa though, I am in love with Talisa. She's so beautiful. I just want to stare at her. I just think she's fantastic. I think I'm, yeah, I think it's a girl crush. I quite like Maura, um, although she's just about to do the overnight challenge, it's the first challenge she's done with Bugs. Massive respect for her for living in the luxury camp and then coming straight out and eating all those meals. Is it me or the challenge is really hard this year? They had to eat so much food on that eating challenge, but respect to them both. Always good to see that the Dingo Dollar challenges are as ridiculous as ever. Tonight's one was Melvin and Talisa. How cool is Melvin? I just want to hang out with him. In fact, I want to hang out with him and Talisa, but not in a really cold creek with um, rubber ducks, which is what they had to do this evening, this afternoon, today, don't know, time has no meaning anymore. But they completed their challenge and they won some ready salted Pringles. Literally the dullest flavour. Ready salted crisps can just get in the bin with bubble tea, but I'm sure at that point ready salted crisps were amazing. They got two Pringles each. Mate, if I was in the jungle, I would knock people out for those Pringles, no matter that they're ready salted. I think at that stage I would be ready to I'd be ready to commit serious crimes just to get the Pringles. I've learned over the past three weeks from spending a lot of time with other humans that I probably wouldn't survive in the jungle because I don't like spending a lot of time with other humans. Um, so yeah, I think jungle madness would have kicked in and I just would have, I would have fought people for those Pringles. I was actually quite jealous of the challenge that Dean had to do tonight because it was a climbing challenge and it looked a lot of fun. And uh, he's gone from screaming the I'm a celebrity get me out of here phrase um, to getting 10 stars. So he's definitely grown as a person, he's on a journey and now I think his journey should end and he can go home. It'll be interesting to see how they get on with the overnight challenge. Um, there's a lot of people that haven't had a chance to do anything and they're like Maura, they're now in there getting covered in bugs. Let's see how they handle it. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing that tomorrow. Right, what am I gonna do? Am I gonna put all this stuff away or just ignore it and go to bed and never come into my living room again? Yeah, that seems the sensible option. I will see you tomorrow.